Do you ever want to scream because you think someone you love's never going to get delivered? Or you've seen so much control, offense, rejection, and pride that you don't know what to do? These are four strong men that operate together. People have to want to be free. I tell you, friends, there's strategic ways to pray. You got to know how they operate because we don't want to put up with them anymore and we want to deliver our friends. Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. In this teaching, learn how to receive and release the ministry of deliverance and conquer spiritual warfare led by the Holy Spirit. Kathy is passionate about exposing the enemy and assisting people to conquer torment in their minds. Kathy's new book, Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace, can be ordered wherever books are sold. Now, get ready to receive revelation, impartation, and deliverance with Kathy DeGraw. Hey friends, I want to welcome you back to my show. And today I want to talk to you about four strongman demons that it seems like it's almost impossible for someone to get delivered if they have all four of these. Do you know of anyone that it's just like, oh my gosh, are you not going to ever get delivered? Do they have control, offense, rejection, pride, and you haven't seen any progress in them getting their deliverance? Well, my husband and I discovered a long time ago, there are four strongman demon that co-labor together. And if somebody has these, they really have to want to be free. And it's control, rejection, pride, and offense. They're four strong men demon that put a tight grip on people, a tight grip in their mind. And because they have pride, they don't see that they have them. Because they have offense, they think everybody else is wrong. Because they have control, they don't see the bondage that they're in. And because they have rejection, they think that it's all they have to do is please people And everything's okay because if they don't please people, they're just going to be rejected over and over and over again. Okay, guys, these demons are so powerful in the realm of the spirit. And I really believe that they have infiltrated the church. I want you to look at this. Look at like either a congregation or worship leader. What happens? A lot of times we have dissension in the church because people don't like the worship music. They don't like the way the leaders do in worship or the worship leader thinks they're right and everyone else is wrong or the congregation has a power struggle. They want to control the church or they want to control the worship leader. Think about the church dissension. Think about what's gone wrong in the church. Okay. These demons have infiltrated our church and that's why we have disunity, division splits. That's why we have people coming into the church that have power struggles that think they're always right and everyone else is wrong and their way is the best way and everyone else needs to shut up. Okay, guys, these are demonic strongholds. Let me tell you, you're fighting a principality and a power, not a person. And when we realize that, okay, the Bible tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, guys. Okay, there's principalities operating through people. And when these four strong men come together, four, just keep that number four, okay, what happens is they destroy because people are bound so bad. They don't even see that they're bound. You know, I was talking to someone recently, 82 years old. They've been bound in fear their whole life. And I was telling them about some of my fear. And they're like, well, fear's normal. Everybody fears. Okay. They just thought it was normal. They didn't even see their bondage. And that's what some of these people do that are infiltrating our churches, our Bible schools, our prayer meetings, you know, whatever it is, guys. And the church must arise and bring forth the truth of this. And so what do we do if we're encountering these demons? Well, one, I think we need to build relationship with people. We need to explain the demonic realm. We need to try and start talking to them and see, hey, could you maybe see your own problem? I remember I had a conference last year and I had an inner circle member come in and she's sitting here, you know, believing in the ministry of deliverance and coming to a deliverance conference. And I'm like, you need deliverance. And she never had deliverance. And she's like offended because I told her she needed deliverance. Okay. Um, guys, you know, pay attention to that. Our pastor's inviting you to minister, but they never come up to the altar to get their own deliverance. I've had that too. 
I've had pastors be like, okay, you know, come. I had one pastor say, don't minister over my leadership team even. Okay. My whole leadership team, don't minister over them. You can't touch them. You can't pray for them. You can't lay hands on them. Nothing. Okay. Now I had another church I went to, I think 14 times and we had great, tremendous deliverance, tremendous glory, but the pastor would never put himself on the altar for prayer. Okay, guys, we got to pay attention to these things. We got to pay attention to things that people think deliverance is for everyone else and not themselves. All right. A a true deliverance minister is going to put themselves on the altar. A true pastor, apostle, prophet is going to put themselves on the altar. Isn't going to be afraid to talk about their bondage or their deliverance or, you know, what they've had to go through. But I want you to look at those strong controlling leaders, or maybe this is even your spouse. You know, maybe you're like, yeah, my spouse has rejection and control and pride and offense. Okay, guys, you got to stop wrestling with their demon and start praying for them. Say, Holy Spirit, convict them. Build a relationship where you can have a casual conversation, not an accusatory conversation, a casual conversation, and maybe start highlighting things about your own life, okay? I like to pe- tell people, a lot of people have my book Unshackled, but I'll be like, if this is your spouse, just leave it on the coffee table, you know, in your living room or leave it on your kitchen table after your devotion and see if he'll, you know, be intrigued of what it's for. But guys, this has pride, control, offense, fear, intimidation, rejection, food addiction, pornography, masturbation, defeat, um, lack of finances, poverty, mentality, everything. And it's your deliverance guide to freedom. Okay. And so it has all four of those strong men in as does prophetic spiritual warfare guys. This even goes into more depth and, and tells you about the principalities and the hierarchies. And so as you know about them, as you receive that information, as you receive it, in those books, guys, what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to have breakthrough conversations with people. And that's what I want you to think about. Don't try and get them delivered in one time. How can you have a breakthrough conversation with them? How could you plant subtle seeds that are going to lead them to and through the process of deliverance in bite-sized pieces? You know, we want everyone supernaturally delivered overnight. That's not always the case. Let's give them bite-sized pieces, guys. And as we give them bite-sized pieces, they're going to get free and stay free. So friends, I want to encourage you, head over to my website, kathydegraministries.org, get unshackled or prophetic spiritual warfare, get them both, get delivered, help people get delivered, pray for your friends, don't control them, don't manipulate them, say Holy Spirit, lead them, guide them, convict them and have them receive the conviction. Friends, I love you, I bless you and have a great day. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.